don't think Mikoto plays a lot. Yeah. There it is. Sitting on it for a while. There it goes. There it is. Under tower as well. There's KP. A little bit of damage, but they don't have enough for an impale. They've got yeah, a mango, stun, no. though. The stun is going to catch him first oh, blood for huge. Pekaz. Hyde oh. cannot get the return kill either. Yeah. No. Rocket. Yeah. And KP gets a bit more damage there, courtesy of the punch. Hook for the soul assumption. I mean, you'd much rather hook the this trade. Oh, this a kill on top. Savage. I missed that. that. Is significant. I mean, it was maybe Maleficent is simply undying, doing undying things. Only eight strength stolen as well here on Fuzzy Wuzzy. Yeah, it's a, I think it, the classic little Malefus harass, and then you don't expect that uh, huge soul rip damage, right? But of course, has to be balanced, right? You can have insane stats and regen and armor uh, while also having a passive like Fury Swipes and Overpower. That would be quite fair. So his regen will suffer a little bit, even with uh, a casual uh, Wraith of Band. But there's another kill down bottom here. Pekaz with another hook. Well, we we cursed him before about not getting these hooks. He's I think 100% so far on them right now, Pi. Yeah, yeah, the nice the, the the one for first blood was very nice. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, right back on the KP. They're and dominating I this here, is another man. kill. Oh, Pi, we just had to come. <laughs> okay, next room. Let's see. Who gets lucky? Oh, there's a dismember already. Yeah. Uh, no the hook, hook did connect this time around. Like, DP did get canceled. I'm yeah. not sure how that happened. And Pakaz is gonna get the kill. No, I think he just realized that maybe he can't do anything. And look at Matthew with these body blocks. Makoto is coming, though. He does have a little bit of a limited mana pool, however, and only one astral stat. Matthew finds a two-man in pale. There, the hook on back. Because doesn't have, however, a dismember for seven more seconds, but he's got 20 wand charges here, fighting into Hyde. Makoto oh, no. is going to be sent scattering, and I think Hyde ends up taking a death here as well. But the dismember back up. Because healing up and will receive his here. They need this kill on him. Okay. Well, he's a bit low uh, on HP here because three stick charges here, has hook, has a TP coming actually. It's going to be Dark Mago rotating in, but they get through Pekaz. KP still not level six though, and maybe it's just run down by Tiny, who has toss. There's Matthew as well, getting caught by Hyde, pushed back into the tower by the Cogs. Dark Mago is completely alone here now versus oh. three, but we'll stick the illusions yeah, onto KP beautiful. for a kill. Trio. Yep. Uh, that leaves Makoto to push out the top lane, though. He, he's kept up in farm quite well, but... So they have the Tombstone now on Q. No, but are they really going to kill 23 Savage? Okay, Matthew, a bit eager there. Maybe overzealous as that stolen Tombstone dropped here. Uh, for oh, talent. the hook! Put the hook out. 23 Savage killed by Pakaz. Oh, sure, Matthew. you can take oh, Matthew the... now, but they've won. They've got what they were looking for here. Yeah, very nice. In the meantime, Pi, the mid tower falls sacred, and Dark Mago make very quick work of that sacred as well, with an arcane rune in the bottle and a blink dagger in the stash. Who displeased? They're still farming a lot more of the map, and the fact that they can just take a fight like that so casually and only lose fight the coming undying. Up here. Breaking the here smoke. goes Matthew. Double finds a two man stun into Dark Mago as well. Eighth Remnant to interrupt here, but Matthew with the spike carapace does prevent Makoto from immediately executing the combo. Dark Mago, though, still going to end up falling. 300 gold here for Makoto. Matthew trading away Q. Here comes as Sacred. In comes Sacred. Has Black Hole. Visage running for his life, but sucked back in. Makoto with an Aether Remnant in a second, but it's going to be a full duration Black Hole with Matthew on the carapace. Sorry, on the Impale to get the kill. Panda is going to take a second back to back death here as 23. Savage fighting through the cost is taking in. Is trying to let him escape as he will eventually be rewarded with another kill there. Sacred continuing Hook. to fight. And 23 Savage Ooh. hooked and brought back off screen for a kill. Pakaz claims his seventh stack. Oh, really huge for Talon though. Like they forced the uh, top push to stop. KP. Oh, the avalanche. Maybe he was hoping to get an astral step away. Black, the black hole. hole. Oh, the thunder looking to set him? up here. Tombstone set up. They need a little bit more. The Malefist done. Oh, Is it enough? Dead. Yes. They actually get through Makoto there. And now Q, he's oh, going to no. end up dying too. Panda going, diving. Pakaz, he says, here make he way. I'm here for the hook. And he actually hit. No, he doesn't even hook. Nah, he didn't hook. Just collected the flesh ship. It's all good. Oh, top lane. Matthew has set up. Oh, KP. I don't think he can get away from this. No. No way to TP away. And they're just going to open it up. Maybe a bit early here. There is a TP scroll righty, but Yule Scepter also used. Maybe now he feels safe to TP away. But Dark Mago's already here. The Avalanche into no toss quite yet. And the Familiar Stun's buying a little bit more time for KP. But I hate to say it, Pi. There's just no reinforcements coming. Talon, yep. they're going to be happy with the space this creates. Ursa is still farming a courier, actually, here. As Aegis is reclaimed, because not super confident though, and he's actually just gonna make the play to TP away because his team, they've captured the outpost and they're fighting here. They're gonna look for a kill on a KP. The toss back here as KP. Ah, a tough game for him, I think, here, resigned yeah. to his death. 
like oh, he stopped birds. issuing commands. Maybe the trying to micro and save the birds, but... The heckin' birds. Yeah, Pekaz, brother. He's right on top of him. Avalanche, two kills there. Plus 200. Oh, mid lane. Matthew is going crazy. And he's going to die for that diving tier 3 tower. <laughs> uh, obviously, it helps you maybe evade a death or two. But look, they're actually going to uh, lead Matthew right in onto, on top of 23 Savage. Yule Scepter into the Impale setup. He did at least get off the Enrage. BK beat up now as Pekaz. They're going to steal only Mana Burn here as oh, Pekaz no, whips hook. the hook. But he still has the Rot just running down 23 Savage. Shark Mago from behind to close the door. Just looking for his target. Finds his man now. The Avatos. Oh, Hyde can't interrupt it fast enough there on the hook shot. BKB Ooh, is used for this, hook. but Pakaz does hit a hook onto Q. He's going to rot him to death as Dark Mago, thinking about making a dive, going into the base here, has the toss at the ready, is going to find KP. Black hole onto two. The buyback and the fortify used for the tower. Multi shot as Panda amped the damage onto both of these heroes. KP is going to keep himself alive a little bit longer, actually, now thanks to the Grave Keeps the Club Shark and it's Shard, rather. And it's Thunder Awaken, now kind of trapped in the base here, perhaps yeah. a bit too deep. A buyback is, I think. Not gonna really change the course of things, unfortunately for for Talon. As Thunder are gonna be able to easily make their way out of the base. Only losing yeah. Nexus. Because is dead for 20 seconds. Does that buyback? But here goes Dark Mago. He's got DD here in BKB, and now the Echo Saber is they're gonna make the jump onto the sports first. 23 Savage almost getting through Panda move, but he does at least get the oh, tombstone the down. As there's the DD active. 23 Savage enraged, fighting through this one with the BKB active. But they're gonna lose KP. He's gonna buy himself a couple of extra seconds here with the Gravekeeper's cloak shard, but he's gonna come out of stone form and into death form. Dark Mago finding another target here. The toss back is sacred. We'll walk him back a bit further from his team. Three dead. The other sentry ward down. Now he's going to be revealed. Gem of True Sight as he's going to go pop the spike. Carapace actually is getting stunned here as well as Dark Mago with the tombstone up on the high ground. Makoto making the jump in. Has a Gem of True Sight online. As stuck inside the cogs and now forced out is going to be Matthew. Makoto is going to use his dissemblate to get out and Pakaz, Pakaz is, in. is in. He finds KP with the dismember. Also getting tossed back to his death. Will be hide. Hooked back now is going to be KP. Does All use the shard, hole. but the black hole only catching two. This. And stolen immediately by Q. Is going to now stun up Sacred. In goes 23 Savage off the back of that stolen spell. But KP is still down, and BKB used for 23 Savage to, to find that kill. And Dark Mago, he's going sicko mode now. Pakaz finds another dismember in there. Interrupted over by Q, and now a stolen dismember here is going to be onto one. Matthew with a nice stun onto two, though. 23 Savage enraged and running back towards the fountain. His hide is going to buy back. Makoto just limited by spells, has another astral step, thinking about going chasing here. They have vision, but they lack the confidence here to go against Thunder. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Ross, that would be huge, but still. Quite a bit away. No. Oh, oh my god. Jump on in, Dark Mago. It's going to be actually, no, they just miss on that eighth of remnants. Dark Mago now taking a bit of damage, but it's going to be Matthew who is going to stand in the way and tank the hook shot. Tombstone up on the high ground now, uh, is getting stunned up. Is Q setting up for the, the two man black hole onto the back lines. KP can interrupt this with the bird stuns, but maybe that's on cooldown. And now Pakaz is tossed onto KP. KP at least in the stone form, he shall go. Ursa trying to fight through this one during the dismember. That means the enrage is going to at least allow him to shrug that off very easily. Sacred eventually is going to take a death here. KP in his dying breath gets off another soul assumption as Makoto doing what he can here against Dark Mago. The heals from Panda gets a fourth step away. Dark Mago making it out alive. Oh, 23 Savage not as lucky. Pakaz gets the kill there. Still has no Aegis. For Still Makoto chasing yet. after Makoto. He's got Astral Step One in a second. second. The Avatos though as he throws Panda Moo on top of him to collect the kill, to Ooh. collect the gem. Back. They're going to be able to get him back. Makoto is going to buy back right on top of the tombstone here as Dark Mago pops the BKB. KP's bird's barely alive as Dark Mago He's trapped inside out. of cogs. He's TPing out, but the hook, hook is going to cancel that one swiftly. KP's going to die for this. Dark Mago looking like he's going to die as well. Gets us a nice have a toss, nearly getting through Q. They don't give enough gold for Q, or for KP rather, for the buyback, and he's going to do that now. Pakaz just constantly hooking on a KP. Yes, this man is no kill with the BKB black hole. Oh, and the Rubik's not around to steal it either. Oh, it's too dead just like that. At the hook, flying oh, helplessly through our screen. Oh, Does Makoto dying. even jumped by Matthew Pakas now with the double kill? He's gonna end the game here with 21 flesh heap stacks. As it's Talon who will fall in game one to Thunder Awaken. Very, very impressive performance. Something that can also hit Tombstone. Uh, very quickly in these fights is something they need. Or just a pudge. How about a pudge? Okay. That's like a snipe. Uh, so the stick's on the way, but everything else has been a consumable. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, not going to contribute towards the They're going on hide. 
It's an effort here. Oh, they actually connect on that last Starbreaker hit. Tombstone was dropped, though. Three stacks mm -hmm. of Shadow Rays slowing Sacred to a crawl that dispel Does now he have one makes more? it impossible to turn oh, it. Yes, no, he's got no, a it's reset. More. It reset. Yeah, it did reset. It's a hook. Sorry, uh, my voice went a little crazy there. I thought he was going to hit it. But Dark Mago, Invis runed up. He's going to go ahead and reveal it now. Oh, great dodge there on the Fissure. And that is a gank here for Dark Mago. Yeah, if it doesn't get more than this, though, I don't know if it's worth it. Mm, so. For the TP? Yeah, it has to run all the way. I mean, should at least leave a, a Remnant down here. Good point. Uh, I think. But maybe it's just so hard to Guardian. And now, like, DP's play, she's... Yeah, she hits 6-2. Like, you really want to pop your ultimate and dive this tower, right? But I think... Oh, they're even going on him. And Hyde is dying. Wow, yeah, in the mid lane. Makoto. Oh, Panda's got the Shallow Grave and he's going to TP away. Rolling Thunder, is it going to be in time? Oh, no, no he cancelled Oh, but yeah. he cancelled it. He cancelled Okay, and now they're going bottom. They're going crazy here. Yep. I don't know about this. This seems... Yeah, cute as well with the Fisher Stun. He's going to block in Sacred and Makoto. He's hold, held on uh, to the Rolling Thunder. Oh, we got they're the going to have to turn around briefly to finish off uh, Sacred. Hold that ultimate. And you let KP use his ultimate first, oh, right? Oh, uh -oh, oh Makoto going in. Yes, yeah, he did miss most of the swashbuckle damage, but there's a Fisher at the ready. Great Fisher block as well. KP, though, his Exo is going to end. And here comes Dark Mago. The Dismember is not going to be fast enough or enough of a heal in general to save him. As, wow, Matthew's still alive oh, Sacred here. is here. And they've actually stopped microing the illusion oh my God. so kp going hunting his pathing completely broken now he's definitely an ulti but sometimes it yeah, I think Matthew wants to go here, and I agree. Like, let's kill them. Tombstone right. is out. Yeah. Because TP on in. Oh, the Searing Chains. In goes Sacred as well. KP healing a bit too much, though, off of the Siphons, but the hook swiftly ends his life as Dark Mago picks up another kill on Dominating Strict. Tower goes down, but at a significant uh, cost here. Yeah. Talon. And, and he got the Nai too, right? Oh, it did. And yeah. likely their own tier one as well is going to end up dropping. Yeah. Oh, it turns out. No way now uh, from his own Axe Scepter. Talon. Otherwise, just harassing him a little bit. You gonna hook a root? Go, oh. oh, no, they're going mid, actually. They killed Panda. Yeah. But Makoto actually kind of blocked by the Fisher. I don't think he can get up the stairs. Matthew Ooh, punching so much him from damage. the high ground. And look at that. That was a lot of damage here. And in goes now Dark Mago for more. He has a full Maelstrom here, Pi. Thought Q was actually gonna run from him, but there's so a Maelstrom much, Brock. He's dealing so much damage, wow. man. Like, when you're a support versus this overleveled Ember. Actually kind of standing in each other's wards right now. Dark Mago will cut away. A quick little smoke behind. Then, or Talon, sorry, are have all their ults up. For yes, they do pump fake there on the Fissure, and that is going to condemn oh, Dark no. Mago. The heal's not Dawn enough. Breaker. Echo Slam even used as Dawnbreaker. You can't cancel that uh, TP in on the Solar Guardian. She is going to be second to fall. Panda hoping to TP away. Do they have a stun for him? They don't, actually. So he'll make it out alive. Nothing to yeah, see. I think they see him. But they don't know that Mikoto is here. They do see him. Oh, they're going to interrupt here. There goes the Solar Guardian. 23 Savage having to try and fight through this one. Oh, oh the Solar Appeal. It's just not enough. And Matthew, he's unleashing onto the Tombstone. Mikoto doing a good job keeping him locked down. As Panda has had to use the Shallow Grip to save himself. But this fight falling apart now for Talon. Here's it KP, goes though. KP, though. With now the Requiem active is doing some decent damage. Or sorry, the Exo active. Dark Mago taking down the Undying. As was Panda here with Echo. is not going to oh, die. He's going to live, actually. In comes because because now, yeah, because Echo Slam is still ready, but he blinks back. They want to get out of this fight. There's a good silence onto Dark Mago, but he's kind of Aegis. And it's Makoto finally getting the kill onto Panda. The hook cancels the TP, and that's going to condemn uh, Makoto. <laughs> Panda with a tip onto him. Yeah. And, we, we, yeah. we have to look now, though. Talon smoked up. Good point. Oh, and Matt, Matthew, you mad? He Four forced staff. himself back. He's over the Fissure. And 23 Savage, they can't quite kill him in time. Makoto's oh, really in. chasing for this. But Dark Mago's going on in. Oh, and the entire time they had a shallow grave. Dark Mago, he's taken down the Undying. His BKB, however, is expiring as he will lose the Marcy. So it's support for support. But it's Dark Mago's BKB to two. Hook. However, Q with the hook finds his mark. But the hook onto KP. KP BKB'd up. But because eating through him as Dark Mago continuing to kite them out, Makoto at least always going to be able to get off his own uh, shard there on the roll up. KP wow. then stuck on the enemy triangle. He's gonna die. Makoto running for his life now using the swash to get top with the hook, the blink forward from Picaz. A nice fissure from Q. He's dying. He can turn with the echo, but it'd be for nothing here as they've lost two cores. What a stack based heal. Like, it's it's a decent amount. Yeah. You can really get some healing done on this hero. Be careful. Thunder looking for some more damage now. Uh, they still have echo. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Sacred just going in. Yeah, the blink and hide is saved briefly here. The Radioe almost condemns him. There's a hook for oh, Kakash. Savage, Savage gonna gonna get caught. And 23 Savage, he's going to have to BKB. Has Requiem. Oh, no. But even the Wraith Pack oh, is going to help Matthew. nuke him down. He is going to die through the BKB. Thunder, they're still hunting for more. Triangle. They are just on top of their game here. Thunder predicting the move. The scan is going to swing wide. And Dark Mago, he might go lurking up to high ground here. Okay, now they know where they are. There's Savage's smoke is going to break. It goes Dark Mago, stunned by the Fissure once. The Echo Slam committed here. Oh, but the Wreck, so the Old Guardian's still going to save him. And they're on top of uh, Makoto. They're in the Rolling Thunder. Canceled Makoto. He's going to die. He didn't get the Rolling Thunder off. Double buybacks now out from Talon. There's no BKB, though. Oh, no. Well, Pekaz is TPing tango. out. And Pekaz just TPs out in the middle of the fight on the iteration of Shallow Crave. Makoto, he might die a second time, but a nicely timed Fissure from Q. This time, trying to get off the Rolling Thunder, but he's been <laughs> rooted a second time. Finds a bash onto Matthew. Mana burned that's at least their first kill of the fight but the fight it's gone not well here for talent because no. uh, has tp'd home but he's running back alongside now panda but kp his exo is expired they yeah. used echo slam yeah i think they, they i go. think they're down to fight there yeah they i think they have to rolling thunder at least is still ready they canceled it so many times a nice fissure here can it set up for the chain stun the hook out not in time that's because we'll only drag back a corpse He's going to be set up on here, but in goes Sacred. KP looking worse for wear, but a nice silence here before he is stunned. Panda, though, with the shard, is going to stop Makoto from jumping around. Q with another great fissure here after buying back another tombstone in this fight. But they're going to bring back Hyde. Big soul rip, but just too much damage here on the rot. As Thunder, they have to deal with tombstone. The supports will set to work as Pekaz jumps forward. Another silence out from KP. 23 Savage, 23 Savage rather, has respawned, but he only has 12 yeah, souls. But he's and dealing they don't a lot give of him damage. Kill either, but doing a lot of damage here just with the Crystallis. A sacred still trying to fight through this one. Bashed here by Makoto and killed off by Savage. Now back to 15 16. So last game here, and I think Talon, if they can continue to draw out these long fights and make sure that the, that the Ember is a bit distracted and not landing four, three, four, five heroes. Oh, like Sacred this, is just going that could be a bit better, but he's in on a KB. KB with a BKB and a Lotus and Exo already. But they've caught Ember the once here, and he does not have the Aegis, but he does have a BKB. He'll activate that. Oh, he gets and caught. Sacred jumps in, and that's Makoto. Perhaps caught, maybe dead. KB sure is, and he did use Exo. And having used buyback is Makoto. He's now dead. The hook from Pekaz here. Dark Mago ought to have trusted him there. They wouldn't have wasted a remnant. TPing away in time is 20. Yeah. He does not want 23 Savage to clear this way. He wants Dark backdoor. Dark Mago is catching Q bottom. Just uh, completely finishing this game. Off. It's pain. It's pain. He doesn't have buy. He's dead for 40, nearly 50 seconds. And Thunder, they are going to have to push through two fortifies. That's the first one already done. But of course, he's placing down. He's making it super hard for Q to initiate. Right. Yeah, with yeah, shard. Look. Yeah, you are going to do a little bit of uh, AOE damage there, and enough, of course, to keep the blink on cooldown. But Q, waiting patiently here. He just can't get super close. He might have a little alley there in the middle, but not if Bakas goes in. Solar Guardian now, but Makoto with a fresh BKB hide. I don't think he. Oh, he did get off Tombstone. My bad. But trying okay, to focus it down now is Thunder Awaken and jump. Jumping around in the fight, a big old zigzag there drawn by Dark Mago as he's right on top of 23 Savage. The hook from Pekaz, they've got the kill there. Shallow Grey prevents even the Aegis from being reclaimed as Pekaz has two kills and they force out the GG, but not before making it a team wipe. All five dead. Thunder Awaken. What a series for them to end their day two. Yeah.